So if you guys know us and are familiar with the channel, then you know we have been DIYing for so many years. And what does that mean? It means that we've accumulated so many DIY projects over our lifetime. Yes, and you might be wondering what happened to those. And honestly, same. So maybe let's go take a look at the DIYs that we've actually kept, which ones are our favorites and have stood the test of time. Thanks so much to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Okay, where are we? So starting the front entrance way, we have our everyone is welcome here pillow. This one is about six years old. I think it's from the first That Cost How Much video that we ever did. In here, we have Rachel's concrete coffee table. She did this recently. Honestly, I don't think any of us had thoughts that it would stay here, but she styled it here and it just never left and we love it. This stump here is a good one because it actually has never been finished. It has like one side that's like partially done. And I was even watching the video back and Becky was like, make sure you subscribe to see us finish this. <laughs> well, um, make sure you subscribe to see us finish it because we haven't yet done it. And it's been like four years, whoops. Over here we have our monitor easel. This is a hack to make a mobile monitor aesthetic and cute. This is from one of the boardroom makeover episodes. That came from an artist loft in New York too. Do you remember that story? Yes, so, so good. Cool. I mean, it's authentic, authentic paint on here. <laughs> Over here, this clear board ha is a cut down from one of our first offices. It's like, it started big and then we just kept chopping it up into pieces. I think this is over six years old. Here we have my little miniature tree house. This is my second miniature project um, and it's still chilling in this plant. <laughs> the tree hasn't gotten any better though. <laughs> yeah, I honestly, if we, if we cut back to previous footage, the tree probably was a lot nicer. We lost some leaves. We're a work in progress. <laughs> and then I think this is the last major DIY in this room. And Becky, you made this credenza as a part of a Law boardroom Fives. Law Fives makeover episode. And I love that you made this from like a free fireplace. Oh yeah, I forgot piece. about that. <laughs> yeah, that was a good find. And when we were doing timbre everywhere. Let's go into the workshop. Rachel, I'm showing everybody the DIYs in our office. Lots of those. I know, That's on this sure. wall. I made this match lighter. You made it, for sure. I made it? Yeah. This is a last minute gift idea. You know how I know you made it? Why? It's, it's green. green. <laughs> it's timeless. She's cute. <laughs> You've made a lot in this wall too. Yeah. I mean that flower holder there. Yeah. And what else? Oh, and this chessboard. Chessboard. The blob bowl. We have to have a better name for that, guys. <laughs> the dish, uh, jewelry dish. Yeah, but the blob bowl, but then it matches the blob mirror. That's why. Okay. It's a line by Rachel. That's another DIY. This is also another Rachel styled it and just left it up but we're not mad about it. It's because Rachel gets it right every time. No need to change. Guys. Okay, and then in here, our messy storage room. It's okay that it's always a mess, guys. It was like, that's the practicality of it. But in here, we have our like old school DIY drawers. If you're an OG, you know, like our background in our Technically second office. I still remember staying late at the office building these drawers. It took hours. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> and they got shorter. We used to have four. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, we put the other ones over there. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, into the kitchen here. One of the first things we still have are these coasters. I made them. And these were one of the first short form pieces that we ever made on YouTube, which was new for us, but we still use these all the time and they live here. Okay, while I'm here, I'm just gonna pop over to the fridge and mix up some mid-morning nutrition. AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. It combines what you would normally get from multiple individual supplements into a simpler and more effective way to raise your baseline health. With powerful antioxidants, vitamin C and zinc, AG1 also helps with stress and mood balance as well as supports immunity and that I like. Okay, here we go. Mmm. You know, it's so good. I've been mixing it with water recently and I like it, but I do feel like this would be so good with like an almond milk too. AG1 is tested for 950 contaminants and impurities and every batch is NSF certified for sport. 
which, if you didn't know, is the gold standard for those who must follow strict rules regarding the use of supplements and nutritional products. Now, I'm not an athlete, but that's good enough for me. So AG1 is gonna give you a free one-year supply of the AG1 vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. So make sure you check out drinkag1.com slash thesorrygirls to get started on your order and to take advantage of this offer. Thank you so much to AG1 for sponsoring and let's carry on with the tour. So over here we have these three floating shelves. Rochelle made them. There's a full stepped up tutorial on how she did it. We still have them up on the wall. We still style things on them. Speaking of styling, we have this lady bust here that I think is four years old at this point. This fine line detail was all the trend back in the day. This came to my house for a couple years. It's now back in the office. We still love her. Speaking of Rochelle making things though, there's some other things Rochelle's made in the office. That is right. Let's go talk to her. Rashi! Hey. One of my favorite things that I got to work on here in the office is actually this credenza unit over here. I actually did it as a surprise for the girls, so it's a little bit sneaky sneaky, but. So good. <laughs> we love it. Over here is the bookworm bookshelf. We duped um, a very expensive original product, and it, it's not that old, but it's got a whole new styling to it, and I kind of like how it's styled now. Better than what I did in the video. <laughs> Down here, we've got this West Elm duped planter. This one's about four and a half years old, so we've had this for quite a while. And then back here is this giant industrial mirror that we made, one of the first DIYs in this office, and this went super viral for us, so it's cool to still have that around. This is the corner of dupes, to be honest. <laughs> So that's about it for what we have at the office, but we have passed some things along to Team TSG over the years. We will hand it over to them. I am very lucky to have this beauty. She is pink, she is Chanel, she is giving major Kris Jenner vibes, and she was made by Rachel in an episode of Thrift Roulette. And I keep it here on this dresser behind me, and I put all my Kris Jenner money into it. So I have this hidden compartment DIY that Becky made and she made it for our DIYing for our friends videos and I've had it for two years now. Honestly, use it every day. I haven't changed the artwork because it matches my wall and my wardrobe so well. Holds all of my skincare products still. Great DIY, thank you so much. <laughs> Way back in 2021 when I first started working for the Sorry Girls, Becky made me a DIY boho lampshade, um, like chandelier for my office for a video called DIYing for your friends. And I still love it, it's still in my office and it's the best. And some of our previous employees still even have some of the DIYs. You guys might remember Daniela and Claire. Hey, Kelsey and Becky, I'm here in the room that the DIY is in. And the DIY that I have kept is the tile table from the, uh, I think it was a TikTok DIYs video. It's a beautiful addition to my room and it acts as sort of like a vanity slash kind of place to put things. Um, there's a mirror on top of it. And yeah, every time I look at it, it reminds me of the Sorry Girls and my time there. Thank you so much, Kelsey, for making that for me. See you later, bye. Hi guys. I'm Claire. I'm a previous team TSG member, so I've been lucky enough to have quite a few DIYs in my day. But the one that I've kept around and the one that I'm gonna focus on today is actually my current nightstand. This one is really special to me. I've actually brought it from home to home to home now. This was an Ikea DIY, so you know those ones are always good, but it's something that's really stood the test of time. And the second nightstand's actually out here in my living room, so kind of serves as a side table out here, um, but it matches this room too. So bonus DIY, this is actually a Sorry Girls tutorial that I did well after working with you guys. I made my own throw pillows and I used the very old Sorry Girls tutorial. Thanks guys. Now I know I for sure still have a ton of things at my house. Yeah, I do too. So let's head home and show you. Let's go. Now I actually know that some of my family members have some DIYs, 
My sister Jenna actually has this like faux stone coffee table that we've made. And you would have only seen this if you've purchased our Ultimate Room Makeover course, which we launched. If you are interested in seeing that makeover or just learning a step by step, very detailed, methodic way on how to make over a space, you can check out our Ultimate Room Makeover course linked in the description. And then also my grandma, I didn't actually know this until I asked my family if they had any DIYs, has an old coffee table makeover from when I lived in the loft. I love this coffee table. Kelsey had it in her loft and then it was Jenna's and now Gabe and I have it. We really love it. Okay, starting here in my home office, behind me on the shelf, we have the orange mushroom lamp. This is about one and a half years old at this point, and I still think it looks great. And then on the other side, we have the most iconic DIY robot bar cart. Still to this day, one of my favorite projects that I've ever done. It fully survived the move from my previous house to here, and now he lives here and will probably live here forever. Over here in my dining nook, we have the lamp that Rachel DIY'd for me. This was one of her early videos with us where she upcycled pieces that we already owned. And this is just such a meant to be lamp for this nook. It fits here so perfectly and I love it. Thanks, Rach. Coming into my living room, there's a few things I want to show you. First being this pillow behind me. This is a ribbed pillow that I think was from a That Cost How Much episode on CB2 items. This is four years old. Then beside me, I have the bookshelf, side table. This is two years old. And a lot of you might remember this one because it holds books like so. And still, when I look at this and think about it, I'm amazed that I was ever able to even figure this one out and build it myself. Now, speaking of cool tables, I know that two of my friends still own an old DIY table from the channel. This is six years old. I will let them show you how it looks now. Hey, so we have the Chevron coffee table that the Sword of Girls made about uh, five years ago on the channel. It was originally made as a kitchen table and now it's uh, converted to a coffee table. We use it in our basement living space where we watch movies and such. Uh, we absolutely love it, it gets used every day. Um, feel like it fits the space perfectly. And moving right behind my sofa on the floor here, we have the Tiger Punch Needle Rug. This is a rug I made in collaboration with Curry Goat, who is just a very cool person. And this is the first time that I punch needled anything. And I gotta say, I think it turned out pretty cool. Okay, so I'm starting up here in my guest bedroom where I have actually a handful of DIYs. The side tables up here, I made when I tried lathing for the first time. That was fun, we have two of them. And then also on the bed, I actually have a silk pillowcase that I believe was made during a last minute gift ideas video. And then over here in the closet, I actually have Rachel's linen effect chest that she made. I just really wanted a chest of drawers in the closet so that when guests came over, they had a place to put their stuff. And I think this one fits so perfectly. Okay, so here on my main floor, I do still have napkins and napkin holders that Becky made, I think just a year ago, for more last minute gift ideas. I see a theme of things that we, we keep around. A lot of the last minute gift ideas. And then also in a drawer, I actually have these really old faux Polaroid magnets that we made. This was one of our first like apartment DIYs and I think these are 12 years old. And when we made them, people saw them in our videos on the fridge and then asked us for a tutorial. So it was like such an organic way to start our channel, which is just so weird to think about. I also have here my faux leather tissue box cover, which I just think is such a smart DIY because we need to be covering those tissue boxes. And I have a few of these around my house. And here on my media console, I have a DIY lamp that we actually did on social with Wendy Kay and Elena from This House 5000. And Becky and I and them all took the same lamp and then DIY'd it four different ways. It was really fun. I still have my lamp here. So speaking of that mini lamp collab, I actually still have mine too. And it's right here. Some other things in my bedroom that I still have. One being this entire frame that I made for this TV. 
This was me trying to dupe my best Samsung frame TV from like a really old one that we have. I still have it because I genuinely think it still looks good. This was three years ago and I originally did it in a black color. I then painted it this kind of beige to match the walls in the old place so it blended in. It doesn't really match anymore but I still have it. Might get repainted. Who knows? Still love it. And then out of my closet just behind you guys, I still have this fringe leather jacket. I did a giant star on the front because truthfully there was a stain that I was trying to cover because this was thrifted but such a cool jacket. I truthfully just wish I had more reasons to wear this places because I love it and I'm never gonna get rid of it. Never! Over here I've got a project that went through two rounds of DIYs in two separate videos. I originally called these the Franken drawers, and if you want to know why, you're gonna to have to go watch that original video, but it used to be wood. And in the second video, I painted it white and did a whole new front to it, so it now looks like a giant retro flat file. And sitting on top, we have an older project of ours. This one is four years old, and it was, I believe, from a That Cost How Much episode. It's a tray. We added some fringe to it. Still useful for holding things. It's a nice tray, so it lives up here. Speaking of old projects though, I do have one that I really need to show you because this goes way back. Coming this way into what is our guest bedroom, this is where we have some of the real oldies. So back on this wall over here, we've got this little dresser. This project is nine years old. This is the first furniture flip I think we ever really did. The first time that I ever used wood filler to patch holes, I remember going to Anthropology and getting these fancy knobs to put on these little drawers here. Yeah, this was a big moment in TSG history and I still have it. Oh, and so many of the early TSG videos were edited on the computer that sat on this desk. Lots of good memories there. Over here is a little side chair. This was an upcycle project. If it's not looking familiar, it's because I originally did it in a white boucle fabric. I've since recovered it into like this brown faux fur material. And lastly, back in this closet, I am pulling out another nine-year-old. Another nine-year-old project. This is the Not Yours luggage tag that we stamped with words and distressed, and it's been on this suitcase ever since. So if that's not a testament to the quality of some of these DIYs, I don't know what is. We're gonna head downstairs now, but obviously I still have my miniature mouse house. That video has almost like 2 million views now. Hello if you found us from a miniature house video. I hope you've stayed, I hope you subscribed, because wow, who knew? Actually here on the stairs is an amber vase that I dyed using Mod Podge based on a TikTok trend. Still pretty good. <sighs> Okay, I have this patchwork vest and skirt that I did as a short last year around Fashion Week. And then, if you know, you know that these jeans that I've been wearing are a dupe that I DIY'd a little while back. Still love them, still wear them. And then lastly down here, I have a wire basket DIY in my laundry room that is eight years old. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us on this journey down memory lane. If there's any old projects you're curious about that we did not mention in this video and do you wanna know where they are? Let us know in the comments and we can get back to you. Of course, we'll list absolutely all of the DIYs mentioned today in the description box down below. So if any of them piqued your fancy and you wanna go check out the video that they were originally featured in, you can do so in the description box. We hope you all had a wonderful holiday season and I am so ready to get into this new year with a whole bunch of new projects and makeovers. So if you are not subscribed, now is the perfect time to do so to make sure you don't miss out on those because I know what's coming up and there's some good ones, okay? Let me tell you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.